This video demonstrates how to change out a cam lock. So if you lost your keys to one of these, and this is what we need to replace, well, this video illustrates how we're going to do that. All right, so to start this, you're gonna need a small crescent, a deep well 7 8 inch socket, and you'll need a 10 millimeter nut driver. This is the new lock that comes bagged. You'll see there's a couple extra nuts in here that you likely won't need unless you lose the other ones in the process. New keys and new cam. All right, let's get started. All right, so when you look at the back of the assembly, of course, I've got the lid off this box to help demonstrate at a better angle how this needs to be replaced. Obviously, if it's rocked in, it's gonna be more challenging. You have to do it from the bottom side, but this is how we start. All right, so the first thing you'll do is you'll come to the back side of this keeper here and you'll take this nut off with this nut driver. Be careful not to lose that. And then you'll pull this off. You'll see that little star washer is gonna fall out of there. Okay, now that we have the nut removed, we can actually pull that out and try to get that out of the way as much as possible. If uh, the next thing we'll do is we're gonna try to get in here and uh, take this nut off with our socket and our crescent wrench. So here we have that socket and you'll just have to loosen it off a little bit. And then we'll get in here and spin off this nut here. As soon as we get that done, we'll replace the cam lock. All right, so we have our nut off the back side there, and I just wanted to point out, you'll notice that the way this cam's mounted, it has a the key lock pointed uh, to the left there. You'll want to put it back in the, the same fashion when you do the install. Here we have the large nut removed. We're going to be able to remove this cable bracket. And you'll notice that this other old cam will simply come out. All right, now just the reverse, we're gonna come back in here and make sure that these components don't fall off the back. So be careful when you're holding it, that you don't lose those. You gotta put that in here. And then you'll manage to put this back on in place. We'll reattach this actuator. Okay, now we're gonna put this deep well socket on here. When you get ready to tighten this, you wanna use that crescent wrench to hold it so it's square. And then you can check the front side of your loft to make certain that it's oriented the right way. Now we're gonna take the actuator and put it back on the latch there. And we're gonna put the, the nut and the star washer on and tighten it up with our 10 millimeter. All right, and finally, we're gonna take this 10 millimeter nut driver and give that a good turn. If you have a socket on extension, whatever you can use to get in there, that'll be perfect. Note this, uh, this cable is actually set on this keeper. So I would encourage you not to remove it. So that way when you get ready to put it back on, it'll have the, the right keystroke here for this to uh, operate properly. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. That completes the assembly for a reinstall of a cam lock.